Another week is here again. All thanks to God. So welcome to a Healy's Talk Show. Vivid view. Say and do it. Learn to look at things backward, inside out, and upside down. Say something, somebody. My name is Wos Mark David. For proper judgment, one should be able to examine things thoroughly from his or her own view and even from other people's view in order to strike a balance. Thank you. My name is Eddie Daniel. Um, my own contribution to A Healy's Corner is uh, that there are two sides to every story. You don't listen to one side of the story and just arrive at a conclusion. You need to see things from both angles left, right, front, back, inside house to have a, to arrive at a proper understanding. Thank you. So for, for me, what it means is being thorough and wholesome in your decision. It could be for what you want to study in, in school. You don't just uh, study French because your, your colleague is studying French. Where will it take you to? So look at it holistically before you take decision. Is it in marriage? Is it about your health? So look at it. Don't just say one place and um, you know just conclude that everything is okay. And so even if workplace, in your career in life, look at things holistically. View it backwards, upside down, and every any anyhow, then you'll be able to come out with a decision. And when you do that, you'll find out that you'll not go astray. But when you jump into issues, it becomes a a problem. But having said this, we we continue with our study for today. Interestingly, tackling major health challenges is the topic for today's consideration. It is time for a break, and when we come back, the guest will be introduced. Please stay tuned. Vivid view. Say and do it. Welcome back. In case you're not joining us, tackling major health challenges is the topic for today's uh, discussion. And with me in the studio is a health editor. Let's make welcome Mr. Shola Ogundipe. Vivid view. Say and do it. Before discussion proper, please follow us on social media handles as displayed on the screen. Mr. Shola, you're welcome again. Thank you. Please, let's go straight. Your definition, your introduction, and perspective of the subject matter. Yes. Um, Nigeria is a great country. And um, there are challenges. And part of these challenges are health challenges. We all know, as he said, health is wealth. And a healthy nation is a wealthy nation. Would we say Nigeria is a healthy nation? <laughs> Will this translate into Nigeria being a wealthy nation? Definitely, Nigeria has so many health challenges. And um, they are multifaceted. Because some of these challenges, they are as a result of the attitude of Nigerians. Some are due to the environment. Some are even due to uh, genetic composition. Some are preventable, some are not preventable. But what is really important is that these challenges have impact on the lives of the Nigerians. They have economic impact, they have social impact, yeah. and they have a lot of other impacts. So as a result of this, we need to tackle these challenges. Mm. You will all agree with me that one of the major challenges that Nigerians have, one of the biggest health challenges in Nigeria is malaria. I'm sure there is virtually no Nigerian today. If you have not had at least one bout of malaria. <laughs> From the beginning of the year. <laughs> yes, then you're lucky because uh, from the World Health Organization figures, we are told that Nigeria has the highest burden of malaria in Africa. Mm. 
And Nigeria is one of the four countries in the world that make up more than 80% of the global burden of malaria. So you like to admit that that is quite huge. Now one in about four or five malaria cases in the world, it's a Nigerian that is affected. I mean, this gives us a picture of how big this problem is. Another problem, health problem in Nigeria, is malnutrition. There are different shades of malnutrition. Malnutrition has so many faces. We can talk about undernutrition, we can talk about stunting, we can talk about wasting. I will just look at children, because children are the most affected. From the same uh, World Health Organization figures, we are told that 6 million children, Nigerian children who are under five, are malnourished. Mm. And about 2 million of these, 6 million, are severely malnourished. There's a particular type of malnourishment that is called severe acute malnutrition, SAM. Children, you know, children that have that particular problem, they are shorter and, you know, shorter for their height, for their age, and also, you know, do not weigh enough. They have retarded growth. Exactly. Yeah. So I would, there are so many, but I also want to talk about maternal mortality. We are all aware that <laughs> one of the biggest health problems in Nigeria is a woman giving birth and dying. Giving birth and baby. dying. Or you the know, baby dies. Yes, dying to give birth. Mm -hmm. Nigeria has one of the highest maternal mortality cases <sighs> in the world. In fact, it is so severe that an average Nigerian woman has a chance of one in 20, you know, it's a ratio one in 22 of dying in pregnancy. And this mm. is compared to one in almost 6,000 in developed the developed country. world. So this gives us an idea of the burden that we're facing okay. and why we need to tackle all this. So as we go on, I will be giving you more insight into this. Thank you so much for the contribution you made so far. The points you raised are glaring before us. Everyone of us know that malaria is a major issue here in Nigeria. So it's not again saying that is what we're experiencing. And uh, well, I think our government has been trying to fight it and see, but there are other things that we might need to do for us to solve this problem of malaria once and for all. So what are the likely causes and symptoms of health challenges people face today? Oh yes, like I said earlier, um, attitude. The average Nigerian does not have a health-seeking attitude. I mean, we don't believe that. Yeah, I mean, you could go for check You don't go for checkup. Yes, go for medical checkup, routine checkup. Do you do that? Mm -hmm. Then lifestyle. You know the kind of lifestyle yeah. you live. Anything like you eat. Yeah, you many of us. <laughs> you know, we we are not too um, health conscious. Um, you try to walk, there are 24 hours in a day, if it's possible. <laughs> in Nigeria, we want to walk the whole 24 hours. You don't want to go to sleep. You don't want to rest. You know, stress is everywhere. Mm -hmm. We have um, stressors in the environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, to go from one place to the other, you know, you spend hours on the road, mm -hmm. and then you get home. There is no power supply. You know, mm -hmm. yes, you have to put on the generator. The generator itself is a stressor. Noise, yes. Because it produces noise mm -hmm. and also smoke. Mm -hmm. So the environment contributes, our attitude contributes, our makeup, our genetic makeup, because there are some disorders that we cannot do anything about them. I mean, we are just, they are in it with us. Sickle cell disorder is something like that, mm -hmm. you know, it's, one of such uh, is a good example, you know. So, and because we don't choose our parents, we don't choose our lineage, so we cannot do anything about that. But um, that does not mean we are helpless. Our know? lifestyle too contributes. Yes, our lifestyle, like I said, yes, our know, lifestyle. That drinks and smoke, taste substances. Definitely. And Some of us are careless. Us, yeah. We are careless with our, with, our, with our health. You know, we take 
a lot of, uh, you know, we take alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's not that alcohol is bad, mm -hmm. but it should be in, in a large quantity. Exactly. That's what we're we talking about. We um, take some drugs. You know, there are some drugs we are not supposed to take. We take them. Even food. There are some yes. foods we shouldn't eat mm -hmm. or we eat in moderation. So lifestyle, you know, we don't um, exercise. We don't sleep well. Exactly. Like These I said. are issues. I'm sure somebody will be thinking, if I will not come to it, you know, government. Government has a big role to play. It is a, a right. Good health is a human right. Every Nigerian, you know, reserves to have that uh, good health. And the government should provide it by making sure that the environment, um, you know, the, the community is conducive. You know, that's I'll add to what you just said. Now we're talking about symptoms and all yes. that. It's also... Sometimes, especially our men, majority of our men do feel they could manage when they even have little symptom, little sign. Exactly. You have headache today. It's not just headache. But yes. a, a doctor of mine told me that headache is a sign of an ailment. Definitely. And so if you just buy, okay, cross over to any, any chemist or pharmacist and just buy paracetamol and, and drink, you, you mm. could cushion it little. But it's only giving you a sign that something else could be wrong within your system. But because you, you didn't take it seriously, you didn't go for checkup, you didn't right. go for to hospital, you want to manage and manage and manage. Sometimes they say, because there's no money, I don't have money, let me just manage. Before you know it now, the problem may escalate. It becomes a huge amount of money for you to even solve it, and you will not be able to get it anymore. So I think it's, it's part of it. things we really need to look at. When we have little signs, just go and check up, know what is wrong. Don't be managing, especially our men. They like to manage. Uh, some, some men don't even tell, tell their wife they're just managing it. No, <laughs> please. It's something you at least confine in somebody and go quickly. But women are, 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 are always, you know, fast in doing that. Once they have little side, the woman is already in the hospital. Or oh, let me check. Oh. But yes. men, you know, being man, they want to, I don't yes. know. I, I wouldn't know if I, if I say show their muscle whether I'm right or that, but they will look, just want no, to you are, you are, be well. Right. So correct. please, let's take uh, good, uh, you know, take care of, of our heads. It's very, very important. We'll take a break now. Vivid View. See and do it.